Good evening, men and women of God, and welcome to Prayer, Power, and the Prophetic. I am Prophetess Sophia McBride, and I am here with Dr. Lakasha Godwin White, and we are here to pray for you tonight. In fact, tonight, we want you to go ahead and begin to type your prayer request, because tonight, that is our entire purpose, to pray prophetically for you with power. Amen. One thing that I did want to share uh, before we get started tonight was just a little bit about the prophetic. Number one, we prophesy in part. No one prophet knows it all. No one prophet knows it all. I'm going to say that again. No one prophet knows it all. The word tells us that we prophesy in part. And then the second thing I wanted to share with you comes out of 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians 14 and 23. And you can go back and read the rest of that because up and further up in the scripture, it does talk more about prophecy. But this is what I want to talk about tonight. So if the whole church comes together and everyone speaks in tongues and inquires or, uh, or unbelievers come in, or unbelievers come in, will they not say that you are out of your mind? But, 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 if an unbeliever or an inquirer comes in while everyone is prophesying, they are convicted of sin and are brought under judgment by all as the secrets of their hearts are laid bare. So they will fall down and worship God, exclaiming, God is really among you. God is really among you. So one of the reasons that we prophesy is for the unbeliever. The believers, of course, we're encouraged by the prophetic. We're encouraged when when the, the Spirit of the Lord comes in and He speaks to us. Yes, we thank God for that. But guess what? There is even room for the unbeliever because then they know that God cares about them. Then they know that God is listening. Do you hear me? And God knows all things. So, Dr. Godwin and I, uh, the Lord has really blessed us where we have been praying together. And because she's Dr. Godwin, she, she's able to pray in a, in a medical way. So if I see something in the spirit, she comes in and she's able to go right in and pray more strategically, more on point because she understands the body. Dr. White, I'd like for you to please introduce yourself and tell everyone about yourself. Well, amen. Thank you for that introduction. As Prophet Sophia McBride said, um, my name is Dr. Lakasha Godwin White. Um, I have a doctorate of nursing practice, one of the higher degrees that we can earn in our field. I've been in the nursing field now. Um, this is going into my 15th year. Um, I believe God definitely ordained me for the um, healthcare profession. That's without a doubt. Um, when I chose my career, I just knew that I love helping people and I wanted to see people healed and I didn't like sickness. As I've practiced over the years, my faith has definitely overridden a lot of things that I know about science. And um, I've recently learned through prayer assassins that I have the gift of healing. I've always believed in the full power of um, God's ability to heal the human body. Um, and I have prayed, I've prayed, I uh, used to work labor and delivery and I had sick moms and sick babies and I've had babies that lived my entire shift. And I prayed for those kids when science said that they would die, but I was praying that God gave them life. And it was some kids, they weren't supposed to live past 12 hours, 24 hours. And I prayed and it would be one or two days before those babies would pass on to glory. And usually it was something from the medical side. Um, I don't think it was the mother's faith, the father's faith or the family's faith. I just think it was something possibly um, that we missed as a team, not to say that anyone was guilty for killing anyone's child. That's not what it is. 
Um, I just firmly believe in the power of prayer and I was standing in faith with the families. And I still believe to this day that God can heal anybody from any disease as long as we acknowledge God. One of the things God said in his word is that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And we know that he was talking to the people of Israel but it was also that they also rejected God. So I would say one of the key components of your healing is one, acknowledging God and acknowledging God's power and definitely obeying God's law and his word. And I believe that can do more than enough, um, better than medicine, better than pills, better than science. God is God of all and he can do all things and he does all things well. And so I firmly believe I put my faith over medicine any day. I've just been blessed to be able to walk in this field and um, rub elbows with some of the smartest of the smartest people. But most of all, I could, I've stood and I've watched God perform miracles. Amen, woman of God. And so have I, but from a different standpoint, I've seen God work mighty miracles. I want to say to you all right now, please go ahead, put your prayer requests in um, and begin to share, 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 share to all your groups, share to your friends. If you know someone who is sick, if you know someone that's what we'll be doing. We'll come to you with the prophetic. We'll come to you praying for your healing. And let me tell you, I've seen miracle after miracle after miracle. Um, now, I'm a living miracle. I'm a living miracle. God, God, and, and, and Dr. White happened to be there. <laughs> wow. Uh, when uh, God decided he wanted to raise me from the dead. But not only that, I've seen God, we've prayed at this point, I think it's thousands of people, and we've seen God heal. We've seen him work radical miracles miracles, just radical miracles in my life. I've seen God do, you know, I remember, um, I have always wanted more of God. I was never a satisfied woman of God, never satisfied with, uh, just, just, I felt like this. If there was more to have of God, then that's what I wanted. If there was more that God could do, then that's what I wanted to see. You know what I'm saying? And so I would pray, ask the Lord, Hallelujah. I would ask the Lord, Lord, I want to be used by you, Father God. And I want to know that you are real. And he proved that to me over and over again. The other day, um, as Dr. White is a prayer assassin, one of the assassins, we were on one of our uh, calls. And he said he remembered the first time that he, he really saw it for himself. He happened to be in our church in the prayer healing and deliverance center. And he said that the woman took off and I, I, I forgot it for a second. I said, yeah, that did happen. <laughs> that, that was the first miracle work that, that in the prayer and healing deliverance center where she took off her boot. We prayed for, and she literally started running around the building because God healed her that night. That's the kind of stuff. <laughs> and so of course, you know what happened, right? It went crazy up in there. Everybody went crazy. I don't know what time we got out of there that night. We prayed for people and uh, people were healed. It was just amazing. And so uh, God is so good. He's 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 just marked our ministry with that. And, and look, we can't take any credit for what God has done. It's all him. But one of the things that's coming up in my spirit, woman of God, hallelujah, as I, I, the, the spirit, you, you even told me that the Lord was dealing with you with mental illness. In fact, woman of God, I've been thinking about, I mean, of course, we were going to minister together tonight, but I want you to begin to pray. Even those on the line right now, I see some people on the line. I need y'all to go ahead and put your prayer request in. And what?
mental health that God would deliver and break off mental bondage. He's going to break off, hallelujah, I hear the Lord saying that he's going to break off bipolar issues. See, we think that these, some, some things we think we have to live with forever. There's some things people, even like diabetes, people think, come on, people think that they have to live with forever. They think that uh, God can't deliver this, but I'm telling you that we serve a God, that there there's nothing that he can't do. There's nothing that he can't heal. And I'm going to, I'm believing God that he's going to intervene. In particular, I keep hearing bipolar. I want you to go ahead and begin to pray, woman of God, because I see on this line that there is a person dealing with bipolar issues. That they're there. And you know what? They feel like they are doomed. They feel like they're going to be on medication for the rest of their life. Hallelujah. But I hear the Lord saying that they're, that he's going to turn it around. He's going to shift. Hallelujah. There's going to be a shift in your life. There's going to be healing in your life. There's going to be deliverance in your life. I hear the Lord also say there's that someone's brother. There's a brother that is mentally ill. And God is saying, hallelujah. That you shall see your brother whole again. You shall see him in his right mind. God is said he's going to strategic. Yes, God. Yes, so he said he's lining up even the medical care, but there that his mind shall be clear and he shall be whole in the name of Jesus. Dr. God. It's my kid. God, we just come before your throne this night, Father. First of all, saying thank you. Father, as we put on the whole armor of God, Father, I pray even now, God, for the mind. Father, we pray, Father God, for a renewed mind, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you supernaturally rewire the brain. Father, I'm praying and asking even now, God, that you heal through the ups and you heal through the downs. So Father, whether it's mania or depression, I ask even now, God, for healing. Father God, I even speak or shabakik ishadadabokosia. Father, we speak to the brain and we ask God for healing for the brain. Father, we're praying even now that you would balance out the neurotransmitters. Father, we're praying even now that you would release the perfect level of serotonin. Father, we're praying for a perfect level of dopamine release. Father, we're praying that even now, God, while they're taking their medication, that you begin to turn it around. Father, I pray and I speak against mind-binding spirits now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for holistic healing. God, we pray even now for the care team, God. We pray in God that you release a witty idea, God, a witty treatment plan, Father God, for patients. Father, we pray that it will not be medicine as normal when it's dealing to the people of God. Father, we're praying that they will trust even the care team to stand on your word, to see a deliverance from bipolar disorder, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, we even pray for persons, God, who have a dual diagnosis. Father, we pray for schizophrenia. Father, we pray even now, God, <clears throat> that you will begin to slowly peel back, God, and reveal their true identity, God. Reveal to the person who may be suffering with mental health illness their self. Reveal to them, God, your love for them. Reveal to them, God, your peace for them. Reveal to them, God, that you said above all things you desire for them to prosper and be in good health. Father, that's mental health as well as spiritual health and physical health, even now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we speak. To any mind, body, and spirit, we bind you now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. Father, I pray that they will be loosed now in the name of Jesus. God, I speak against failed treatment. I speak against multi-drug use. I speak even now, God, against the access 
God, we speak against poor access to mental health in the name of Jesus. Father, we're praying for more resources for the field. We're praying, Father God, for money. We're praying, Father God, for knowledgeable professionals. We're praying even now, Father God, for safe and therapeutic groups. Father, we're praying even now, God, if you can develop a way, Father, for the care to be continued, whether it's via telehealth or in person, even now, in the name of Jesus. God, we count it done, Father. We count it done, Father. God, your word even said no weapon that's formed against us. God, sickness is a weapon from the enemy. And Father, as we've identified, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against minds, mental health, bipolar, schizophrenia, personality disorders will be uh, tolerated in your kingdom. So Father, we pray against those spirits now in the name of Jesus. God, free the mind. God, your word even said, let this mind be in you that is also in Christ Jesus. So Father, we pray for a renewed mind. Even now, God, even when it was spoken over them as a child, Father, we reverse the curse now in the name of Jesus. Father, we bind it at the root, even, Father God, from being carried in the womb. Father, we speak that this person is smart. We speak this person has sanity. We speak, Father God, that this person can be a contributing person to your kingdom first, God, but also to society. Father, we don't even cast them aside as society would have us to do. Father, I pray even now that they come forth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Father, I just bind a slogan where they try to say that mental health is a stigma. God, it's not a stigma. So, Father, we even come now into the enemy's territory and we bind anything that try to make people think that mental health is bad. Father, you said above all things that we prosper and be in good health. God, you said that you want to renew our minds. So, Father, I'm speaking renewed minds now in the name of Jesus. Renewed mental health now in the name of Jesus. Renewed health. God, I thank you. Woman of God, I really want you to pray more into that mania. You talked about that mania. Kalabasokania. I want you to pray more into that. And then I'm going to come back and pray in a minute. Uh, uh, something else the Holy Spirit told me to pray. Cool. So, Father, we're praying now, God, for people who suffer from mania. <laughs> God, I speak against erratic behaviors now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the wisdom and the knowledge that you've given me from health studies. But God, I speak specifically, God, to the defining word of erratic. Father, I pray that you'll begin, begin to show them how to strategically walk out their lives, God. I pray even against the erratic behaviors, God, that will cause them to overspend. The erratic behaviors that will cause them to be over-sexual. Erratic behaviors, Father God, that will just cause them to be careless. Father, we speak against it's carelessness now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for strategies. Give them strategies, God. I pray even now, God, that you would break it down for them to how to plan their day, how to plan their life, how to plan, God, to have a successful and meaningful day, to have successful and meaningful behaviors even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. Father God, for the person who have the excessive spending habit that comes with mania. God, I pray that you would send a laborer, God, to help them understand the value of what they have, God. So they just wouldn't willy-nilly spend what they have, Father God, but they will begin to store, that they would even begin to side tithe, that they would even begin to sow, God. I pray even now for a better controlment of their behavior. And Father, I even pray that if they're on medication, God, 
God, I hear you say, Lord, that their medication will help control it, but God, it's going to be a laborer that helped them. So, Father, we're praying for laborers, Father, in the mental health field. Father, we're praying for laborers in the kingdom of God, Father, even when they seek counsel from social work, that, Lord, their erratic behavior be tamed now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. I see. Hallelujah. And Father, even now, I heard when you were praying, I heard the Lord say that some of this is generational curses. It's, it's coming down the family line. Then there's another issue. You have some people praying against you. Like then even prayed against your family line. Father God, even now, as we are already girded up in the weapon tree of the Lord, as we have already, oh God, hallelujah, we already have on our armor. Father God, even now, we we, we, we just command all generational curses associated with your blood-bought believers that are dealing with mental illness, oh God. Lord God, we ask you to go back. I heard the Lord say 124 generations and break generational curses of mental illness illness, mental disorders in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. Even those things that may have come in through curses that were uh, either spoken up on the family line, Father, we repent right now for any anything that was done in our family line that brought this up on our family line. Father God, anything, and we, we just ask you to cleanse and sanctify the family line, oh God. Lord, any doors that have been opened, oh God, we ask you to close them now in the name of Jesus. Father, the thing, the, the, the scripture that came up in my mind, the scripture that God has had me praying, and, and I mean, nonstop the last 24 hours is Nahum 1 and 9, where the scripture says that this will not come or will not rise a second time. And so, Father, we pray, hallelujah, for those who have given their life to you, for those who serve you, oh God. Lord, we ask, Lord, that this shall not rise a second time, that it shall not come up in the family line again. Lord, sever it in the name of Jesus. Change the DNA. Father God, supernaturally change the DNA of your believer. Give them your DNA, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I, I, I see we don't have a lot of comments because you know, uh, mental Father, I write, I pray right now that those who are dealing with this and who may, they may not want to say it, then you don't have to say it. You just grab it in the spirit because we're talking to you. The Lord has, he's having us pray for you tonight. He's spoken specifically to us about particular topics to pray. You can put your prayer request down, but there are certain things he has said to us to pray about. And so, Father, we pray you break, 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 break. Break, Father God, the generational curse, Holy Spirit, a mental illness in the name of Jesus. I know that you can do it because you can do all things. There's nothing too big, nothing too small that my God cannot do. In Jesus' name, we ask you to seal. God, I know it's not from you because the word says that uh, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, meaning sound mind, meaning intact. Hallelujah. Thinking properly. Everything is in order. Nothing is out of order. Nothing is out of whack. It is not your will. Hallelujah. For us to be all over the place. It's not your will for our mind, for us to lose our mind or not have proper thoughts. Father, I pray. Hallelujah. That just, we're just praying your word. Hallelujah. You've given us power. You've given us love and you've given us a sound mind. We declare that over your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Hey, in the name of Jesus. I looked over here. Hallelujah. And the woman of God said, break in the name of Jesus. Woman of God, uh, Dr. G uh, Godwin White, I want you to pray now. 
Hallelujah. I want you to pray now for the spirit of depression because that's the other thing I just heard the Lord say. Now pray regarding the spirit of depression. That demon got to come out. Now see, de deliverance ain't for everybody. Hallelujah. But I can tell you this. It is. It is for his people. It is for his, those who are his. It is for you. Hallelujah. If you're walking in Christ, it's for you. So, Father, we even pray now, God, for the opposite end of bipolar, God. Father, we pray for people who may be experiencing lows, God, during this time. Father, I pray even now, God. Father, while they're feeling low in spirit, Father God, low in hope, I pray even now, God, that you will arise them up. Father, I speak to their spirit, man, now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that they would even command their spirit, God, command their mind, God, command their body to serve you, to have hope in you. Father, I even pray for renewed faith in the name of Jesus. Father, I, with the depression thing, God, it shadabokosi kan. God, it's the cares of the world. So, Father, I pray that they would cast all cares even now onto you, God. And, Father, I am praying, Father God, for the people who have been struggling, God, just struggle after struggle after struggle after struggle with chronic depression. Father, I pray even now in the name of Jesus that you will loose them for this season. Father, that you will loose them, God, once they get free. That you, Father God, will keep them free even now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we speak, God, to their mind and we tell their mind to just lift, lift, lift. Even lift, lift in the name of Jesus, lift. And Father God, your word says, if we seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. So Father, I pray even now, God, that they will seek your will for their lives, that they will seek, God, those things that you have set for them, God, so they'll come out of this situational depression even now in the name of Jesus. Father, for chronic depression, God, this is things that's been going on for years, things that's been going on for months, but mainly years, God, where they feel like there's no hope. Father, I pray that they will have hope this day. Father, that we will say something during this prayer time that will give them hope. Father, I am praying even now for hope for your people, God. Oh, shadabo kosi. God, we speak against suicidal ideation that comes with depression. Even now in the name of Jesus, you have no authority. We bind you by the blood of Jesus. Suicide, you can't live in that place anymore. The thought of suicide, we bind it even now. God said a sound mind. So we release sound thoughts. We release life. Life, you will live, you will not die in the name of Jesus. And Father, we even pray, God... <clears throat> against those father who have with suicide god it's a thing where you have a lack of interest so father i pray that you'll begin to give people back that joy give them back that happiness give them back that one thing that kept them interest in going that one thing that kept them interest in life so father we pray for their interest to be re Vibe, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I even pray for those, God, who are having problems with fatigue that's caused by their depression. God, I pray that you'll give them the energy, God. I pray that you'll give them the strength, God, to just want to exercise, God, the strength to take a deep breath in, God, the strength to take a deep breath out, the strength to just stretch, God, the strength to just step out on faith, God, the strength to just walk the strength to just talk even now in the name of Jesus. So father, we bind fatigue in the name of Jesus and we release God energy. We release substance. We release life even now in the name of Jesus. I know, um, woman of God that, that I, you know, the Lord is, I was just getting ready to talk about that suicide. You prayed, thank God. Now I would want us to pray for those who are dealing with substance abuse. Uh, and I hear the Lord saying long-term su substance abuse. I, I hear God saying there's some that are watching that 
they get they'll they can even walk for two years or three years but then the enemy comes back you know in a season hallelujah but father we just gonna pray right now we are touching and agreeing for the people of god tonight <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, that that season, hallelujah, that there will be no more seasons, oh God, yeah, baba, that those seasons will cease and desist in the name of Jesus, that the seasons, oh Kalia, that they walk in and out of, that are they are no more, you know, I heard the Lord say when you were praying, I heard the Lord say this woman of God, I heard him say that there are people that, that need to disconnect they need to disconnect there's people therefore and those people are dealing with what's called familiar spirits and when you deal with a familiar those the familiar spirit and so that come around and when they come around that thing it's a that, then there's something called a transfer of spirits. Do you understand? So there's familiar spirits and then there's a transfer of spirits. So you're free, but then you go right back around somebody who's not free or who is dealing with a familiar spirit. And guess what? That thing come right back. So Father, we pray that your people would have the mindset, the mindset to walk away, to cut off whoever they got to cut off so that they can be free in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for those familiar spirits. Hallelujah. We pray that those familiar hallelujah that they must go in the name of Jesus hallelujah we bind them now in the name of Jesus we bind every familiar spirit of alcoholism hallelujah of drug abuse and you know what even those spirits sometimes uh it, it like you talked about earlier of, of um obsessive obsessiveness whether it's obsessive spending or gambling those are still spirits of addiction so father we ask you tonight to intervene over your people in the name of Jesus intervene God we bind it now look I need for you to receive it I know y'all trying to check us out seeing what we're doing hallelujah but I've been in this thing a long time I've been in deliverance ministry a long time and you know what the thing about deliverance ministry the way he gets you in guess what you go through deliverance hallelujah I, I was going through some things in my family and I have always been one the devil ain't finna win you ain't finna walk up in my house and just have your way you ain't gonna do it you ain't gonna have your way so I had to figure out and learn how to fight do you understand I had to learn how to fight through the word of God I had to learn the authority Authority that I had in my mouth through the apostolic anointing of Jesus Christ. And when I begin to understand that, that the enemy does not have a right to just run a uh, rampant in my family, don't you understand? Hey, I, I took hold of deliverance and I ain't put it down. And I've seen many people set free from demonic oppression. Hallelujah. But the first thing you got to do, the very first thing you got to do when you want to be delivered is you got to be honest and tell the truth. You tell the truth. That's You got to start. Can't be no lying in there. You got to tell the truth about you. You got to confront you. Let the devil know him you there. Then you got to live holy. You got to live holy. Then after living holy, then once you have decided and you you live a consecrated life holly you've submitted to the word of god then guess what the enemy don't have a to come your life then you command him to get out do you understand hallelujah so we they're praying to the spirits all generational curses all things that have you bound are bound in Jesus name. Amen. Woman of God, the, the other thing that hallelujah that was on our heart to pray for, on your heart to pray for, well, I guess more so me was the heart. I heard the Lord talking about um uh that I told you that I the thing that had been coming over and over again and you told me you were going to say what it is when people have to have five bypasses not four but five i've heard it so many times and in my own family two people had five bypasses and i want you to talk about that and then pray about that 
And we do, I see a prayer request here. Um, I tell you what, let's go to her prayer request and then you come back talk and pray about the uh, heart, the five bypass. And she says here, she says, pray for my co-worker's mother. She is currently in ICU. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for her uh her co-worker's mother. Father God, we pray right now as she is in ICU. We ask you even now to release angels, oh God, healing angels to go even now, right this moment, oh God, and touch, Father God. Hallelujah. Touch her body, oh God. Touch all the symptoms, the systems in her body. I hear God talking about even her breathing. Father, we pray right now that she would breathe that the breath of life, your breath would breathe through her in the name of Jesus. That you would breathe the breath of life and that she would breathe because of your breath, Father God. Lord God, we pray, God, all infection in her body. We speak to every infection. We command infection to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, oh, we speak life in the name of Jesus. We declare life over her in the name of Jesus. New life. God, we ask you to restore, to restore her body. Hallelujah. Even the uh, in her brain, um, the, um, the triggers in her brain. Hallelujah. God, we ask that you would reconnect all um hallelujah all of the um now see this is why i need the doctor on the line you understand what i'm saying it's some connectors woman of god that i see in the brain that need to be restored can you pray father before we pray for her brain god i just want to pray even now father god against a covid inquired acquired infection so father i pray that as she's in the icu father while she may have not been admitted for covid i pray father god that you would protect her from covid even now in the name of jesus father i even continue to pray god and i touch and agree with prophetess sophia mcbride god that her respiratory complication will cease and desist even now in the name of jesus Father, I pray and I command God, a stabilization, Father God, of her free flowing O2. So, Father, I pray that as she is receiving God oxygen, that she will have the sensors in her brain speak to one another that will command her lungs to function even now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that even now, God, she will have a spontaneous, God, cough that will give them, God, give them the sign that they were looking for to say that she has life, even now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that she will not grow fatigued, God, from being on the vent too long. So, Father, I even speak now that you give her health care team, God, a keen eyesight, keen hearing, even now in the name of Jesus, to not miss the signs, God, that they were looking for to say that she still has life. Because, Father, you said in your word that she should have life and life more abundantly. Father, I even pray now, God. God, that she'll have God, a perfect God pump. God, we speak to the pumping area of her heart that deals with oxygenation and saturation of the rest of her body. Father, I pray that you restore the pump. The pumping feature, God. The pumping, God, is function of her heart even now in the name of jesus okay woman of god when you were praying let me i need to pray this you prayed about her team 
but the Lord said there's somebody on the team that needs to be removed. So, Father, we pray right now. We touch and agree right now. We ask, oh, Holy Spirit, that you would intervene and cause that person, if they have to go to another floor, if they have to go to another department. But, Father, we pray right now that you would remove that person, oh, God, that naysayer in the name of Jesus, that naysayer who may be exhausted, oh, God, remove that person that would hinder her from from having the proper care in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, woman of God, you talked about being on the ventilator. And I remember being on the ventilator. In fact, I, I, I remember being on the ventilator looking over and you were there praying for me. <laughs> and um, I believe we're not on the ventilator when you were in there that day. Okay. And um, um, the thing about the ventilator is that you feel like you can't breathe. It's supposed to help you breathe, but the way I felt was like I could not breathe at all. I felt like I, I felt almost like it kind of feels like you're drowning without the water effect. Um, but you just can't, I, I could, I felt like I could not breathe. And so um, I feel like when people are on ventilators and they feel like they can't breathe, the brain may be saying you can't breathe. You understand? They kept telling me, you can breathe, you can breathe. And I was like, no, y'all don't understand. I can't breathe. So I'm, I'm, I'm praying, Father God, hallelujah, that, that, her, that her thoughts will not overtake. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, uh, Dr. White? That, her, that her, how she feels will not overtake uh, her her in any way that would prevent her from healing properly. I hope I'm articulating well. Am I articulating well? Okay. You go ahead. No, no you actually you said it um, well. So I just pray that God, even now, that <laughs> if she has to be sedated, God, that it won't be a sedation that will overtake the mental health I pray that it'll be enough, Father God, to calm her where she's able to breathe freely with vent assistance. God, I pray that she won't breathe over the ventilator in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I thank God for you, woman of God, um, because it's like I see these things, but I'm not, I, I don't have the medical background. So with you here, um, it helps me to be able to articulate that that I'm seeing in the spirit realm. Um, oh, thank you, Stacy. Thank you so much. Look, I want to pray. In fact, I'm glad that she said that. Um, I want to pray actually for uh, Albertus Coleman. And she's having um, I'm, um, seizures, uh, Dr. White. And um, I'm calling them seizures, but, but they're, you can't hear me? Okay, they're like um, small uh, shaking episodes. Okay, so um, what we've been praying for is to have the insight to understand what the root of the issue is. But they're shaking episodes. Sometimes they're more violent than others. She's had many, many different tests. Um, so I just want to pray uh, if you could pray for her and those that the root of that will be revealed so Father we come before your throne God asking God for knowledge and insight Father I pray even now God that you would touch the minds God the hearts of our healthcare team. Father, I pray even now that you would give someone an answer as they go back, Father God, and they begin to look at the literature, God. They go back, God. They begin to look at the anatomy. As they go back, God, and they begin to look at their books, I pray, God, that you would just say, yes, this is it, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that even as you're showing them what the root cause, God, of the pseudo-seizures, I call them pseudo-seizures, because we command them to cease and desist now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
But God, we're praying, God, for the root cause, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, God, as they consult with neurology, God, as they consult, Father God, with cardiology, that you will allow them to speak a language, God, that's simple but also revealing even now in the name of Jesus. Father, we're praying, God, for a restoration of brain connectivity, a restoration, Father God, of the left side of the body, talking to the right side of the body, a restoration, God, of the synapses, God, that's located within her brain as they're firing. God, God I pray for the melon sheath to be repaired even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the melon melon sheep, the sheep, God, to be repaired even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray even for her diet. I pray, God, that she'll have a taste for things that are going to supernaturally heal her body. I pray even now, Father God, that she'll have the appetite to eat those things even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying, God, that you'll give them, I don't know if she has a nutritionist or she's supposed to see a nutritionist. So, Father, I pray that even through the nutritionist and the consult, Father, that she'll begin to consume a diet that will help heal her body now in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for praying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And um, I believe it or not, our time is almost up. Boy, that that went by like by <laughs> in five minutes. It felt like. Um, and so each week we may pray for people. We may prophesy. Uh, it may be different, but you know, uh, I know it's going to always have something to do with healing because that's just how our ministry we flow in the uh, gifts of uh, healing. Well. I do want to go back to the heart. Lord, we pray for those who are dealing with heart issues. So either whether it's high blood pressure, whether it's uh, those who've been diagnosed with uh, bypass, you know, need to have a bypass. So Hallelujah. We pray right now that you would intervene. Uh, you know, I, I, what came to mind, I, I was thinking about this man that I know that he had to have artery. His art, He was having surgery. And the interesting thing, when the, the doctors didn't do the surgery, when they opened him up, the artery healed itself. <laughs> and so they had to just close him back up. And so I'm praying, hallelujah, that God, the word says that he came to mend the broken in heart. So I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to heal those whose hearts are literally broken. I also want to say this to you prophetically. Sometimes the things uh, that have happened to us outwardly manifest inward, inwardly. We can have a broken heart of uh, someone could have broken our heart heart or some situation broke our heart and it literally manifest in our body in the natural you understand and so father we pray that those who have a broken heart that uh, that may have manifest because of situations in their life holy spirit we ask you tonight to heal the broken in heart literally oh god to go in hallelujah healing arteries to go in healing um so i i don't know what they're called dr dr white but the the the, the connectors of the heart i see valves the valves of the Hallelujah, that God will heal the vows in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And then I do see, uh, in somebody that's watching right now, I hear the Lord say that there's some scar tissue in the heart. I, I don't know what that is, but I see scar tissue literally inside the heart. Um, and it almost looks like fatty tissue, but it's actually scar tissue, the Lord says. And he wants to heal that. Let me let her pray about that because that's what I see. I don't know what that's called medically 
ish and the day seek head that I did at a daughter of book quality did a seek had he candy at a daughter of book quality see God we speak even now God is shut that card that a robot who seek here seek hardy and they did a seek high it shut that it is the a kind of a robot God to the muscle layer of the heart God is that it is see father we're praying father God from a totality, God, or overtake of scar tissue, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I am praying for a supernatural restoration, God, of muscle elasticity in the name of Jesus. Father, I even speak to the blood vessels. I speak to the arteries that lie within the scar tissue. And I ask even now, God, that you give them strength, God, supernatural recoil, supernatural expansion, supernatural dilation, even now in the name of Jesus, God, that they'll be able to carry oxygen, be able to carry nutrients, God, be able to carry blood flow to the heart, God, to the rest of the body, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I even speak to the eight order, God, which is the main, one of the main vessels. I pray, God, for a supernatural restoration. God, I speak even now, God, against heart failure in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you would repair and restore heart function. I pray even now, Father God, against fluid buildup. I pray even now, Father God, against oxygen deprivation from heart failure now in the name of Jesus. Father, I am praying that you heal this person's heart. I see the scar straight down like through the almost through the middle of the heart that's what i'm seeing okay oh that's what you see too amen um it's uh sort of towards it's the posterior it's is what we call in science so it's the back part of the heart and as you if you were to open the heart and look at it it would be the posterior middle part and so, Father, I believe, trying to get my left and right side right, it's the left atrium. So, Father, we pray even now, Father God, for a restoration of the left. God, the left side of the heart is responsible for oxygen. So, Father, we pray that no one even suffers from stroke, that no one would even suffer, Father God, from shortness of breath, that no one would even suffer, Father God, from fatigue, that no one would even suffer, Father God, from the buildup or the overflow of CO2 now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you would even just God begin to break up the scarring. Father, I pray that the scar be supernaturally removed, even the scar tissue now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you, while you're dealing with the physical heart, that you deal with the spiritual heart, God, the matters of the heart, even now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that this person begins to release the things that they've carried for generation after generation generation after generation. So Father, we bind excessive worry now in the name of Jesus, because God, you said that you would give us peace that surpasses all understanding. So God, I pray even now, God, even tonight as they begin to rest, that they will have peace in their body, peace in their mind, peace in their heart, peace in their soul, God, peace in their spirit. Father, I pray that you will just wrap them in a spirit of peace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you because you've been so faithful, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. more minutes which is amazing to me that <laughs> that the time went by uh that fast we will be back next tuesday night to pray for you hallelujah hallelujah pray for your healing we will prophesy hallelujah i thank god Mama, I just want to thank God for you. I just I thank God for uh, your willingness to to just serve the Lord. You know, um, when I think of 
well, my uncle was a doctor, and he, he actually was a pastor also. But uh, so there's just some doctors that I know that they're, they're more science-based. They're not interested in the things of God, you know. But to see a woman of God who's uh, highly intelligent, highly learned, that also understands the power of Jesus Christ, that's special. That's special. <laughs> Amen. So I thank God for you. And I believe the Lord is going to bless you abundantly for your labor. Uh, I, I just believe that with all my heart. I do want to ask you all if you all tomorrow you can join my husband, Pastor Earl McBride. He will be, there will be, you know, weekly Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, right here he on pastor earl mcbride's page on facebook you can also find it on my page it will also stream live on youtube and then thursday morning of course we'll have 5 30 a.m breakthrough prayer hallelujah and i believe the lord will meet us in a powerful way there also and so um if you would like to give there's three ways to give you can give through uplift www.uplift uh, cc.com you giblify we are uplift word on giblify or you can do cash app which is uplift word well dollar sign uplift word all right so you can give in those ways if you want to bless the ministry in any way but um i also wanted to say if you want to be a prayer assassin amen if you want to know how to pray uh breakthrough prayers and hit the mark every time. And you know, I know that sounds like uh, some kind of slogan. But the way we hit the mark every time is not like everything that we praise come to pass. What we're saying is you're praying the heart of God every time. That's what we're saying. And you can be confident that you're praying the heart of God. Guess what? You can go and register at www prayerassassinarmy.com you can register today at www.prayerassassinarmy.com and i'm gonna say this to you it's online learning now so you the the there is accessible 24 hours a day you can take the class anytime you have time so um it that that's better when dr uh dr godman was on the line she had to be there every tuesday night <laughs> amen but now the classes are online we wanted to make it so that anybody could learn and and become an effective intercessor amen so look Join us tomorrow night and Thursday morning. We'll be back here with you guys. We love you. We thank God for you. We thank God that you spent this hour with us. And woman of God, expect God to do mighty things in your life. Amen. Bye-bye.